again and again, I've seen a lot of operators failing to do this. Look, if you're starting an Airbnb business, guys, you've got to know your break-even number for your property. If you run a portfolio of properties, you need to know your break-even number as a business. Guys, it's so, so important. I'm so surprised that every time, look, one of the session I do in one of our Grow BNB support client support is ask them about pricing. Now, to know pricing, we need to know your break-even number. How can you, as a management company, I've had numbers of conversation with different management company before. How can you, as a management company, onboard a property without understanding a client's break-even number? That is, that doesn't work that way. If if, I, if somebody wants to come and work with me and we want to make them profit, how would I know what profit I'm going to make them without knowing what their expenses are? And this is what I really want to make sure you guys understand. I want to go back to basic on understanding how to run a break-even number on your property. If we do that first, and then once you start adding more properties, you're going to have uh, obviously other expenses in your property that's going to change or it's gonna you're gonna have other expenses in your business like employees that's gonna come in so for now let's understand the basic of running a break-even number in your property so guys two things here as always understanding your break-even meaning there's two expenses in your property your first expenses is fixed right pretty much fixed and then you've got variable expenses in your property now even in the fixed expenses there are some fees that changes but i still class them as a, a fixed expenses because there will be obviously your property is not going to get unoccupied for the whole month so there is going to be some kind of expenses that you want to put aside especially for my clients who are looking to do long-term bookings you need to understand what kind of expenses that's going to be throughout the month and month so you can estimate that cost into your business so let's look at the screen now and we'll go through some breakdown of your fixed expenses and your variable expenses the fixed expenses now if you own that property you've got a mortgage on that property if you're doing a rental arbitrage or you're doing rent to rent in the uk obviously you've got a fixed rent with the landlord so that's your first big expenses on that property if you own that property and with the new laws, obviously you've got to check it with your solicitors and your legals and your accountants, but there is taxes in place that you need to cover. It could also be in, again, with the rent to rent that a lot of time our clients work with, you obviously are running as a business, so you will be liable to pay taxes after all the expenses. But again, it's something that I always put in there. If you own it, there's a slightly different strategy than to somebody who's doing a rent arbitrage. You have now got a council tax in the UK or business rates. That's something that you pay obviously on a monthly basis. Utilities, which is electricity, gas and water. Again, that's something that is kind of flexible or ver variable, but you need to put, especially for me, if I'm going to try and get somebody a monthly booking, I want to understand if somebody stays there for a whole month, kind of maximize users on electricity gas and water what kind of bills are we expecting we put an estimation of the bill your wi-fi is again your fixed expenses if you've got a car park permit could be potentially free or could be you paying for it so you put that in there if you released your furniture which has been kind of a current trend you can put that per month on the amount and last but not the least any other fixed expenses it could be insurance or whatever you pay per month that needs to be in there now that kind of gives you an overall monthly fixed expenses off your property to understand your break-even number working with so many clients this is something i have every single day with conversation if you don't understand your fixed expenses you do not know what potential profit you're going to make on this unit a lot of people go pierce i'm going to make 100 pound a night 150 pound a night 300 pound a night depending on the luxury model but it's going back to basic it doesn't matter how much you charge per night you need to understand what your break-even numbers are so what i want to do next is i want to take you to my screen and i want to talk to you about the variable expenses off your property and then we'll work out a potential break-even number now as you can see from our screen your variable expenses 
Now, there's two things or two major things that needs that you need to look at. Firstly, your cleaning or as I call it, your housekeeping costs. Why do I call it housekeeping? I've done a separate video on it. Please do go and watch it. They are not just your cleaner. They are your housekeeping team. So your housekeeping team costs could be X amount. It's variable because if you've got a two night stay, you're going to have a lot of cleans. If you've got a hopefully a monthly stay, you potentially want to offer them two cleans that's included on your cost of the marketed price. And then the second variable cost is your commission to OTA because with Airbnb, it charges you 18%, which is 15% plus VAT. If you've got, you know, if you're on a two different, there's two different pricing strategies uh, or service fee strategies, or if you're with booking.com, you start at 15%, but then you move into higher depending on the deal you want to run through. So again, commission and housekeeping team costs are your variable expenses. So guys, in a nutshell, you've now today learned how to go with fixed expenses and variable expenses of your property. Now, look, at the end of the day, this is the two smallest, but the most major thing that you need to understand. You need to understand it days in, days out. If you wanna make profit in this property, you need to understand this number. So at the end of this, you've got a fixed expenses, that's X amount of number. You've got your variable expenses. Like I said, if you're gonna do a monthly booking, you wanna potentially add two cleans uh, one bi-weekly, one end of checkout, and that way you're covered, you put that in your cost. You're 18% on Airbnb, if you wanna pass that over to the guest, you need to calculate that depending on the, the amount of profit you wanna make, uh, which is quite different. So guys, look, this is the most simple thing you can learn in the process of understanding your break-even point of your property, because once you do that, you then add the profit X amount is your break-even number. If you say, Piers, my property is capable of making $2,000 a month on profit, you add that $2,000 on top of your break-even number. Obviously, then you've got your variable expenses depending on the length of stay, how you're gonna manage it, you're gonna pass it over to the guests. If it's a direct booking, which is what we do in Grow BNB, we talk about it a lot. We do it for our clients. We build short-term rental brands for our clients for that. But that's exactly why you need to understand your break-even point. As a result of that, you will start maximizing your profit. This is something that I do with my client and our strategy call week number two. Most of them, all my clients sit down Every single one today understands break even well, especially my profit pricing tracker. Within the Grow Your BNB service, we go through that. And I like the fact that every single client at the end of you know five weeks, eight weeks, or six months they work with us, they end up knowing their property inside out, understanding their profit margin inside out, and more importantly, making more profit. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this free training, free video on break even point of your Airbnb business please make sure you hit that like subscribe and share and i'll be back with another video soon